Hey, sincerely wonderful. Good morning, afternoon to everyone, and welcome to today's stream. My name is Tikaf Media, and I'm primarily a video game streamer who primarily plays RPG games like Genshin Impact, Monster Hunter Rise, Phenotopia, and other such games. I'm also a hobby voice actor and singer, so if you hear me do one or two of those things during any of my videos, I sincerely apologize. This video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm not exactly playing a game here. Well, maybe I am. This is what's known as the annual report for Genshin Impact, and I've been holding off on doing it for quite a while. In fact, there's only maybe three, four days left before it expires uh, when I record this. Uh, mostly because it's highly embarrassing. Uh, my skills in Genshin are above average at best. Uh, just kind of okay at worst. But I do play more than most of my friends, so... Let's, uh, let's uh, take a look here at my uh, Genshin Impact. I'm gonna have to blur that in post, aren't I? I'm gonna just cut out the entire part of me forgetting to connect my uh, account. But yeah, here we go. I really hope these 40 premium gems are worth it. Okay, so. <coughs> in order for me to unlock my annual report, I need to look at each and every piece of this thing. Uh, one by one. There's five pieces I see on the screen. Excuse me? Last year, I got kind of embarrassed because uh, it told me how little, uh, how far behind I'd fallen in cooking recipes. Um, the first two years of the game, I did every single recipe to completion. This, this third and fourth year, well, I guess it's third year. This third year, I, I kind of fallen behind. Uh, Left click or press to enter the next scene. Okay. Traveler Kambin will like as much as you do. Yes. Uh, Klee is my favorite character in the entirety of Genshin Impact. I almost skipped Klee's banner if I. Uh, I've recounted this tale so many times during my streams, but I almost skipped Klee's banner because I was, I don't know, trying too much to be a tryhard. I thought I would skip Klee's banner and get. Constellations or weapons or whatever. But I rolled for her, and she turned out to be my favorite character in the entire game. To the point where I would build for her. She's the only character I have cosmetics for, the witch costume. And, uh. All in all, I just. I fell in love with how vibrant and bright she is, and how kind she is to all the people she meets. I mean, every voice that she has for a character is. Blank person is my is the best, or blank person is the bestest person ever, or something like that. Finari. Not surprising. I guess it's looking more at the characters I played the most in uh, this past year. So it makes sense for the characters I rolled in uh, the 3.0 update to really get you know featured. I did get C2 in Cleave, though, which is not showing, um, which tells me that it's probably taken in like. Uh, June or July. <coughs> Excuse me. Chichi, C6. Uh, the first character I ever C6 as a 5 star. Uh, and still the only character I have as a 5 star that C6. She was my first character I rolled ever was a 5 star. Um, and I have been losing to her in 50 ever since. Um, if not to her, then to Tainari and Mona. Yaimiko. Um, surprise, like, powerhouse. She's a really great sub-DPS, so I use her all the time in the Abyss. Yelan, everyone loves Yelan. Uh, upgraded Shinsho, basically. <laughs> I still use Shinsho and DPS every now and again, though. Sometimes both of them at the same time. Baiju was the weird one. I, I really thought I would use Baiju more. But as I leveled up his talents and uh, his weapon... I tried to like match him with a good character like Child. 
I found that didn't really mesh well with his playstyle. Um, no, I, I still see people to use him, but I guess I already have to make Android characters to like uh, really see the appeal of him. You know, being on his own as a sub DPS. Ah, our queen, Nahida. Um, <coughs> Nahida is ahead of the entire pack, the MVP of 3.0's updates. Strongest character in strength, in personality, everything. Just hands down, we stand and we hail Queen Nahida. Alhitham. Oh, Alhitham was a surprise hit. Um, this was a character that I <coughs> did not expect to like as much as I did. Um, when he first came out, I thought, oh, there's another, you know, still a cool guy. We got we got Diluc already. We got Diluc at home. Um, turns out Alhitham is surprisingly complex. And he has that, for lack of a better word, um, the lack of social skills that is easier to relate to and uh, compensates by setting parameters on how much he values the things he should find personal and subjective, which I relate really hard to. <laughs> Can I just keep giving thumbs up to the same people? Yeah, okay. I actually did skip Kokomi's banner um, the first time it rolled around. I, I, I'm I, so ashamed. I bought into the hype of like, oh, Kokomi's so bad. Oh, Kokomi uh, does not have any crit rate. She's not really that strong. She can't hold herself in the spiral abyss. And then her clam artifact set came out. And I immediately ate my words and I was like, oh man, I should have I should have voted Kokomi. Um, and then something else happened where um, I had been ignoring the artifact set, right? Because I was like, oh, well, I'm never going to roll Kokomi. So, you know, uh, no, no crying over spilled milk, right? Um, then uh, two characters I already had were featured and I was like, well, I don't want other constellation, so I'll roll for the weapon. Weapon just so happened to be the uh, Moonlight Everglow, which is Kokomi's signature weapon. I did one roll and I got it. <laughs> and my dumb brain went, oh, it'll be good for Barbara. <laughs> I mean, it is. This weapon was made for Kokomi. And I felt that when Kokomi's mana rolled around, I I got Barbara the weapon. So I started building the camp artifacts, right? To start building it for Chi Chi and Barbara. And then I realized, hey, I already have some super awesome artifacts. Why not roll for Kokomi? I got Kokomi in two ten rolls. So that was the game telling me that I made a huge mistake, but was giving me the chance to make up for it by giving me Kokomi. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and now I use Kokomi in pretty much every single Spiral Abyss run I do. <laughs> Ugh, this one is gonna be kind of embarrassing. Oh no, it's music? Whether a parasol or a sword, the trials and performances take place at the same time at the Opera House. The truth discovered in the water is just at the surface, but where can the truth behind the prophecy be found? Oh, just the Arcade Press I completed. Okay. I prefer Act 2. Oh, it's a trailer. Okay, I mean... I can't play it, I don't think, because I might get copyright struck, so... We're not going to do that, but you can, of course, watch the trailer on YouTube. Um, I'll probably just link it in the description below. Uh, what else we got? The most recent story quest completed was the one unlocked with Yoimiya. Carasius Oratus Chapter Act 2, Star Picker's Passage. The meters we summoned blew up on the ground, and they were exactly like fireworks. Yeah, I... I read it most of the story quest, cause, um... Man, I needed the Primo Gems. <laughs> I had to get the Prima Gems for the characters somehow, am I right? Bye, Lunny. Bye, Lynette. Oh. Rokasu menu, actually. 
The most recent hangout event you completed was the hangout event Kabe, the Pendulum of Wheel and Woe. Picking this commission was truly the worst decision ever. Yeah, um, I'm uh, quite a bit behind on my hangout events. I've unlocked and completed um, all of them technically, but I definitely haven't gotten all the endings. I have at least two that I haven't seen all the way to the end. Um, Kaveh's and Kaya's, I believe. So that's on my to-do list. <laughs> I'm really focusing on um, on the Inazuma fishing achievement, which is try to get 10 pages of Toki Alley Tales. Uh, so we'll see what I can do about that one. Oh. I didn't mean to skip that. City reputation level. Max level 8 for Mong Stats. Level 8 for Liwei. Level 10 for Inazuma. Level 10 for Sumeru, and level 5 for Fontaine. So I guess this is recent. Maybe the 5 stars just don't show if they're like below C6. That's why he didn't show that I had two constellations for her. Although I didn't realize that there were two more levels for Inazuma and Sumeru than there are in Mondstadt and Liwei. I guess that makes a lot of sense why I couldn't get the compass very quickly. Now, the Statue of the Seven. I always get a little bit behind on those, um, ever since Inazuma. The day they stopped um, giving out stamina rewards for the Statue of the Sevens, I kind of um, lost a lot of interest. I find it a lot more fun to get treasures in the wild, to get Hydro Sigils, than leveling up Hydro Sigils to... Uh, leveling up Statue of the Sevens to get Hydro Sigils and uh, Keys to Shine of the Depths, right? Because those open luxury chests or whatever, but opening chests out in the wild is it's much more fun. So as you can see, I'm still at level 4, even though I see some accounts are at like level 7 or level 8 already. <coughs> ah, of course, the special offering places. So I haven't had the chance to play much of 4.1 yet, so forgive me, I, I'm very behind on my Fountain of the Scene. Um, Tree of Dreams though, at 50. The Frostbearing Tree within a few weeks. I got it like within a month, I think. Level 12. The Amrita Pool. Well, that, that took a bit longer because the r, &R quest was very long. And so was the Betrayal quest, whose name I forget. Um, Golden Slumber... Golden Dirge. Golden Dirge quest line was very long. And I want to do it all in chronological order. So I didn't do the Amrita Pool till much much later like 3.7 3.8 um whenever that happened i, I forget <clears throat> actually that might not even write numbers whatever <laughs> sacred sacrifice favor of course i got that as quickly as i could uh, i really hated the uh, the sakuragana barriers i mean i i just said right i i loved exploring the open world for treasure chests and to see those barriers blocking me off, like, huge checksums of the map, always gave me a real big uh, headache. So I would, like, go around picking up those exact, uh, what do you call this, um, Electrograna, right? Just so that I could level up the Sacred Sacra's favor a tiny bit faster. That was the only place where I kept doing that, right? Uh, and I only did it when I realized that that was a requirement. I didn't realize that, oh, you had to level it up. I thought I was just like, oh, you know, it'll... they're they're hiding behind an update. It was actually behind the Sacred Sacrus tree. So when 4.2 rolled around, I really like burrowed hard into grabbing all the like Regana. The Lumiton Adjutant. That was a weird one. Leveling up that one was weird. Uh, because like Yes, you had to get from treasure, but there were a surprising number of those that were tied to like NPC quests, which had really good stories. Um, honestly, like all the gap, uh, the chasm, I should say, the chasm NPC stories are pretty interesting, and a lot of the stories from Sumeru onwards, like just take steps up. And I'm just biased because uh, Inazuma was not my exact. Company. The Fountain of Lucene is currently at level 17. 
I've only explored the first three areas to about 90%. I know. I know. I'm super slow. I have some real life responsibilities. And I am playing other games. Uh, people have been telling me I play Genshin too much. Can you believe it? <laughs> Spending money on it helps though. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, ooh, TCG. A battlefield of dice, cats, and cards. You've reached new certification TCG player level 10. You can uh, you can now own 15 character cards. And you have obtained 193 equipment, support, and event cards. Yeah, I wasn't actually like trying to collect those cards. Um, I was just trying to get the lucky coins because each game lasts so long and I have such a short attention span. I end up playing the card game whenever I'm editing videos. So like one game for me can be anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. Um, so I didn't get any cards because I just kept playing with the same um, Hydro Frost deck. <coughs> so just to be clear, it's uh, Ganyu, Rodeo of Luck, and uh, Kogami. During this year's journey, you challenge your companions with total of 361 Genius and Vacation TCG duels, winning 224 and losing 137. You've had 5 Genius and Vacation TCG duels with other travelers, winning 2 and losing 3. Yeah, I'm not afraid of my win loss ratio. Honestly, the time sink is uh, more of a big deal to me. But I am collecting more cards now because I realized that, like, um, for completion bonus sake, it's actually better if I buy the cards, and also, there were Primo Gem rewards hidden behind collecting cards, which I am now getting, <laughs> slowly but surely. <coughs> Meanwhile, you've also acquired 80 dynamic skins. Aww, the Wanderer is playing TCG. Um, the Wanderer in my world, by the way, is called Koneko, because, um, little cats, as in the storybook. His um, character is a little cat. Koneko chan is what I call him. Yes, I'm a weeb. In Serenity Pot is a medium. The Adepti manifest the bow just for you. On April 28, 2021, you opened a realm to call your own for the first time. During this year's journey, your devil energy reached an apex of 25,800. Thanks, Dobby. Yeah, so that was... Uh... That was a little bit of a birthday gift for myself, where I took the time to really build the Serenity Pot. Um, no, April 28 is on my birthday, but it's close enough. During your journey... <clears throat> During your journey, the Serenity Pot of yours has been visited by a total of four travelers. That's not as high as I thought it would be, but not as low as it should be either. Uh, what's this? Oh, the annual report. I see. Well, there we go. That was a nice little walk through memory lane. Share after you finish playing all the data sections. Okay. Aha! Here we go. Welcome to <clears throat> Dude, I have a cough, so I can't do my full range of voices, but I'll try my best. Welcome to Tavat. On October 8th, 2020, a traveler from another world called the Traveler arrived in Tavat. Actually, you know what? I call him the Traveler in my streams because I don't want... I can't dissociate myself from the actual Traveler, but I guess I can call him Decaf Nvidia here. Um, when did Genshin come out? Genshin Impact release date. September. Okay, so I joined the game pretty much like within the within a few days of it coming out. That's pretty cool. Welcome to Tsuvat. On October 8th, 2020, a traveler from another world called Decaf Nvidia arrived in Tsuvat. Ad Astra Abyssos. During your journey this year, 
he far completed 1451 daily commissions with the adventurer's guild okay that's it's that it's that low because of two things one i had to go to the hospital um for several weeks throughout the past three years and you can't play genshin outside unless you have a phone that can handle genshin which to this day i still don't have also they don't allow you to bring um a ps4 to the hospital of course second thing um sometimes and this is just like you know for me i would set aside days where i would like spend time with my irl friends or do meetups um with my family or special occasions where i would actually not play games uh i would end up spending on primo gems almost immediately afterwards because i have a job that can help me pay for that but i would be able to like hold off on logging in every single day and you know that's perfectly fine if you can do it every day and you um can balance your work life game um well great for you if you're like me or if you're more casual it's also completely fine everyone can play at their own pace the reason you complete commissions in most frequently sumeru this year the daily commission that completed most was touring lightship a diligent gent- a diligent adventurer will always be rewarded richly I'm assuming it's a show. The reason why Sumeru is the um, place where I committed the most commissions is because I was so afraid of missing any achievements that are tied to the commission. And to this day, they're still kind of like random. There's still one achievement I haven't gotten in Sumeru. One in Liyue, one in Mondstadt um, that I haven't done yet. I've done all the ones in Inazuma. I'm like, yes, I'm sure. Because I checked all the achievements on the page. Um, and... Now I've set the fontaine and I only found out after sending it back to Monstat over the week over weekdays, right? That actually there's another achievement that I can get. So I'm switching it back uh today to Fontaine. A little bit late, but eventually I'm gonna get the, for the love of God win. So I have to switch back to Monstat every now and again. During this year's journey. You unlocked a total of 326 achievements. Your most recent Wonders of the World achievement was Icebound Oath, which you unlocked on September 24, 2023. You earned a total of 137,000... No. You earned a total of 137... Sorry, you know... How do you read this one? You are... Look, Traveler... You earn a total of 137,444,797 mora during this year's journey. And uh, during the same period, you spent a total of 138,006,345 mora. I'm in the red. <laughs> um, I'm an impulse buyer, apparently. Oh, there's, there's title? Yeah, because um, I spent a lot on leveling up everyone's talents. And everyone levels also leveling up artifacts uh for flea mostly as a traveler you make it your job never let any air chest that has your eyes on the book this year you open a total of 1383 chests in Tevat. yeah i did lord of the treasure hoarders i mean lord of the treasure hunters Oh, Karara. <coughs> Additionally, you caught a total of 75 small animals with the Omni Ubiquity Net. Yeah, Nahida. I did that for the achievement and then I immediately stopped. Because I realized, <coughs> unlike Ash Ketchum, I might never catch them all. Oh, so sad. I was cutting into all my other achievement time and uh, game time and uh, stuff, so... Yeah. Well, to be fair, towards the end of that achievement run, I was just catching foxes over and over. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna get back into it just to, like, complete my my catalog of 
um, animals in the encyclopedia, as well as the um, what do you call this? Get copies of them for the serenity pot. If ever I do plan on like you know making a zoo in my serenity pot. Ah, traveler, you've been active on Tavat for 970 days. That would be... Wait, wait, what's the 7th? October. September. August. July. Okay. You've been active on Tevat for 970 days. July 31st, 2023 was the day that you collected the most materials. It must have been a memorable day in your journey. And I don't quite know how I'm supposed to day this twice. Oh. Cool. I'm not sure if that means I got like two sets of Primo Gems and Heroes with. Let me just go and check in that on the uh, PS4 screen real quick. Four. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Wait, wait, there's more! There's more! Wait, what? Did I not finish? Oh, there's so much more! Okay, I guess the video is going longer. This year, you defeated a total of 31,276 common monsters. Among these, you defeated 585 clockwork mecha. During the same period, you defeated a total of 5,181 elite monsters. The elite monster that you defeated the most is the Blazing Axe Maitreshura, for a total of 637 times. Mostly from commissions and from guarding terror chests, I think. For some reason, they really want Genshin really wants um, Helichuros to guard carriage chest. Supreme Clockwork Mech Hunter. During your journey this year, you defeat a total of 598 bosses. The boss that you defeated the most is the algorithm of si semi infancyant Matrix Overseer Network, for a total of 66 times. Making the visible visible. Oh, yeah, I call that Simon. Semi infancyant Matrix of Overseer Network, Simon. Or Ice King, if you prefer. This year, you've a total of 68,710 original resin. You made a total of 763 condensed resin. You've challenged a total of 364 enemies of note. The domain of the enemy of note that you've challenged the most is Confront Storm Terror for a total of 55 times. I mean, I've done every boss since release, so that makes sense. Although it's less than you would think because I did not realize that uh, weekly boss were a thing until uh, much later into when I started the game. I spent a good chunk at the beginning just exploring, taking my own time with it. And then immediately rushing when I realized that the commissions were actually important. <laughs> Condensed resin manufacturer. Ayato Niyaka. This year, you've challenged the main soul of 60. You've challenged the main soul of 965 times. The one you've challenged the most is Domain of Blessing. Desert Citadel 4. For a total of 169 times. For Nahida's artifacts. You claimed to have seen in the Blossom Well, a total of 34 times. And the Blessing Revelation, a total of 259 times. Uh, for the Mora, for artifacts. For the experience books for leveling everyone up. I now have over 60 to 70 characters. Frequent visitor of Domains of Blessing. Hmm. Passable effort. Child, yeah, I um, I have not been trying to full star any of the Spiral Abyss since the beginning. This is kind of rubbing my perfectionist brain in in, in front of me here. Hmm. <clears throat> no witness of Spiral Abyss step. Oh, that's kind of a mean nickname. Who are you, Paimon? <laughs> no, but like. If I wanted to get full star, um, I think I would have to fully commit to paying to win, as it were. I would have to get constellations for all of the heavy hitting characters, because my skill is just okay. Uh, you can ask any of my uh, friends who played mobile games with me, or first person shooters. I'm okay, I'm like, I have pretty good reflexes despite having ADHD, but like, I am not very good <laughs> in general. Holy cow, <laughs> there's so many rewards from this thing. 
I'm guessing I didn't see all of this either. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Up to now, you've traveled across the path with all the four companions. 29 of them five star, and 35 of them four star. One five star companion in the maximum possible amount of stuff for two now. <clears throat> I'm so sorry for that. I can usually do a better high-pitched voice, but my cough is just really bothering me. Hopefully, I, I cut out all the coughing parts they were passing by. During your journey, you've acquired a total of 7 5-star weapons, 45 4-star weapons, refined to rank 5. Thanks, Ganyu. I actually have 7 5-star weapons? That's pretty awesome. Throughout your journey, you've obtained 60 name card styles, unlocked by our friendship levels of your companions. So yeah, about 60 people are, are in my roster now. Save a celebrity. Okay. Thankfully that one was short. Okay, so that's exploration and that's combat. What's the other ones? I think I did this one. Right? Nope. <coughs> <coughs> of ballots and bruise. Human father and mother were adventurers. Everyone helps me. I will help everyone too. Humans, wolves, everyone. It is Luke Wickle. The princess bets it never at a long. I bit my thumb. <laughs> a flower that is not of this world. A guide who will never get lost. One who would never lie. And a legend that never ends. Wind Bloom's Bread. Is this a story quest I did? Akitsu Kimo Dameshi, the test of courage. Akitsu Yuge and Mikawa Flower Festival. The bonds between yokai and humans will never be severed. Oh, it's the events. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. <sighs> so sleepy. Yeah, this video is turning out to be a lot longer than it would be. Whoops. Good thing I saved it for the weekend and not, uh, well, this I would have to sleep. Ah, Hu Tao. The only rapper of her generation and time. The explicit night chimes. A banquet of melodies where the adepti gather for a night of fe feasting and drinking. As everyone prays for a bountiful future. The year ahead will surely be a blessed one. Hmm. Beidou. And, um, Jenha. Fabulous Fungus Frenzy. The story between humans and the fungi does not follow a master servant paradigm, but companionship, based on mutual understanding. Thanks, Farazan. Ever the wise elder. Parade of Providence. Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps the decisions can. Yeah, Kave reaching out to Dory and uh, asking for help. Only for Dory to turn around and be like, oh, well, here are a bunch of useless contacts. And then I actually own the thing that you need, so I'm going to give it to you for an exorbitant price. Ah, uh, Genshin. Making ever the gray characters. The grayest of them being Dory. <laughs> I'll hate them just like being cool over there. <coughs> That's my annual report. Okay. I'd like to edit travel memories. I can edit my memories? Ooh. <coughs> Returnee, Huntland Hero, Captain of Swordfish 2, Lupico, Dream Expert. Ah, I can choose keyword as well. Well, <coughs> I'm 
I'm gonna be honest. Of the ones who look the most like me, it's Lenny. Of the one who has a close personality to me, people tell me I'm a mix between Toma and Lisa. But dang, child is cool. Mm. You know what? Lenny's also cool. Let's go with Lenny. And then... Annual Morris Ben? Okay. I'm gonna do the annual Morris Ben and Toad Rider's Chest Unlock for sure, for sure. Uh, travels and Entertainment. Hmm, Dunning Companions. Not the weapons. Lord of Treasure Hunters, Impulse Buyer. Hmm. Not really a Spiral Abyss person. With a powerful 5 star team, that's not really me. Ah, there we go. Max out friendship with many companions. Well, if I have, that's my keyword, then I don't need to use friend and comrade. <coughs> I think I'm okay with. I can't call myself cutie. I'm sorry. I was gonna go cutie, and I'm like, no, I can't. I can't do that. Let's go with transcendent assistance. Oh no, that's all. That's equally cringy. Um, <laughs> let, let's go with. Um, Renowned among the Adepti. Okay? Let, let, let's go for something out there, but not too out there. Okay, so... Okay, but I got the in-game rewards of 20,000 more for that. That's perfectly fine. Is this supposed to, like, fill up? World, events... Oh, it's all filled up! Dang, good job, me! Yeah, you did it, me! Haha! <laughs> High five twice! Okay. So, world creation, events, combat, character leveling, and quest are all maxed out! Persona style, baby! Alright, that, that is good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this image. And also share the link. Okay, so. That will mark the end of. Uh, well. I suppose that nothing else to call this but a special event. Uh, anyone who wants to follow my link in my Discord, uh, if you can find my Discord, <laughs> will get some Fontaine items from me. Oops. Why did it send out the blessings of freedom? Oh, is it random? Yeah, I think it's random. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so I guess I'll send out freedom blessings for anyone who wants. But I can only send out <coughs> five. So it's first come, first serve. Alright. So, that'll be it for me. Um, to anyone who was watching this whole time, I don't know why. It was just me gushing about my um, experiences with Genshin Impact. It's one of my favorite games in the past. No, just one of my favorite games, period. Um, for all of its flaws and faults, it's brought me hours upon hours and hours of enjoyment. And has been a good way for me to make a lot of friends and, uh, you know, between you and me, flaunt my gotcha luck. <laughs> so, this will be the end of the video. But keep in mind and remember that decaf and video is created on Creative Commons Attribution Non Commercial Share Alike 4.0 Off you can. You can ring my bell, ring my bell.